Hi everyone. So in the last video, we learned about the variables in Ansible and also we learned about how to manage this variable inside the Ansible playbook also outside the playbook using the variable files. So you know how to use the variables inside the playbook and uh, how you can use the variables inside or outside the playbook inside a variable file. If you have some specific uh, need for uh, defining the variables together with the Ansible inventory, let's say you have some host specific or group specific variable, then you can use a functionality in Ansible called uh, host variable and uh, group variable. So we have this uh, existing playbook. We are going to use the same playbook for the demo. So cd variable demo. So we have these files already. Uh, you can refer the this video description for the GitHub repository and take the file from there. Uh, or if you have already the one from your previous uh, lab, then you can use that. Okay, we have this ansible.cfg with a minimal configuration. And you can see there is a remote user DevOps. I will explain that. Then we have an inventory with the two nodes and a local host. Then we have a uh, sorry, we have a wards files which contain some web package and the firewall package to be installed. Also, we have the main playbook which will install HTTP or web, web package, start the web package, install firewall, enable the firewall port, all those things. Okay, it's the same uh, playbook, it's uh, just for the demo. Okay, so we know the variables you can keep inside the playbook, outside the playbook, and this is about host variable. Let's say inside your inventory, so we have this inventory and we have two nodes. In case, let's say I have a different uh, username for different nodes and uh, I need to use that specific to the host right so what you can do here we are going to define a variable for node 2 and node 1 so i am mentioning okay ansible fun user equal to devops so ansible hyphen user is a default variable and we are declaring this inside the inventory as devops okay and ansible hyphen user equal to vagrant so i want to use different users for different host this is just an example let's see what will happen so we have ansible nodes i'm using just a shell command and checking command and maybe id let's see so ansible run on node 2 with a wagon user and on node 1 with a devops user hope this is very easy one so if you don't understand please ask in the comment box so inside the inventory file we have mentioned which ansible user to be used so you can use any variable specific to the host like this okay get inventory c uh, node 1 is using devops yes node 1 is using devops user and node 2 is using wagon user Okay, even we have uh, this, sorry, ansible.cfg, we put remote user, but the host variable already taken more precedence and it's used. Okay, this is uh, the inventory variable. Let's say uh, if you have more and more variable, it won't be nice to keep everything inside the inventory. Instead of keeping everything inside the inventory, we want to keep this variable under an organized file structure and that is called host variables and group variables so what we have to do uh, inside your project directory so this is our project directory we have these files uh, we have to create some uh, directory structure okay before i go to the uh, host and group variables so i will do one more thing you go to the inventory now we have nodes and we have uh, node 1 and node 2. Let's say I want to define some specific variable for the entire nodes group. So what I can do, nodes 
I will forget this other, forget this otherwise. Notes and you mention words. Here you can define variables specific to the node group. So in this case, whatever nodes under the nodes group will be assigned with this variable. For example, if I use ansible underscore user equal to DevOps here, what will happen? So which variable will be assigned? Okay, we can try. So we are using the same shell and see what will be the effect. Did you see anything? Because a host variable will have more precedence and uh, even you mentioned group variables as DevOps, but the host variables you mentioned as vagrant, it will take over. Please remember this variable precedence. So if you go and check uh, Ansible variable uh, precedence, sorry for the typo. Let's see the documentation on the order or precedence of Ansible variable. So if you go down, you can see a link here, variable precedence. So you have so many places uh, to keep your variables and depends on the location, the precedence will change. So if you go down, you can see around 22 position, you can define variable. So you can see command line variable like a minus u minus u so these are not variables but it's a parameter then you have role defaults inventory files so this is the one uh, we are talking about the group uh, inventory variables inventory host words play playbook uh, variables and all those and you can see the last one i mean the 22 will have most uh, preference and you can see extra words for example whatever you pass to the playbook will win precedence okay remember this order because uh, i got so many uh, complaining that okay they have defined this variable here and here but it's not really working of course it won't work because it will take variable value from different location based on the precedence okay you can uh, read more about the precedence in the documentation later okay now we know this one okay now we have this uh, issue called let's say we have more and more variables or more and more details to be keep inside the inventory then the inventory won't book, look nice and it won't be uh, it will be very difficult to keep this inventory clean so what you have to do is inside the inventory we will remove these variables and we will keep this under specific directory okay so uh so this is the recommended way okay so we will create that one what you have to do we will create a directory called mkdr group underscore words then mkdr host underscore words now you can see we have a new directory called group words and host wars okay now we have to move these items to the correct location okay, now we have these items inside the inventory so we have to move this variable to the proper location so what you have to do vim host wars my node is node 1 so use the node name for the file name under the host wars node 1 insert ansible underscore user then here you use the column remember that don't use the e is equal to uh, symbol so ansible user uh, devops okay good now we have node 2 ansible underscore user because these are variable files vagrant okay now we use 3 okay we have two files here then we have to create the host wars right so we sorry group wars group wars then our group name is nodes nodes then okay we are not going to uh, use this variable because we didn't you learn already we will remove this remove this
okay so the inventory is clean no variables inside now we have to use something for the demo purpose the group of okay we have this call um, cat uh, web package uh, defined inside the watch file i don't want to use the watch file instead for this notes i want to use uh, this were this variable inside the host group words. So what I'll do group words nodes web underscore package. Okay, maybe we can do something like uh, cat words to group words nodes. Okay. Okay, so we have this notes file cat group was notes. Okay, the kind of is there. So we have uh, now we are going to edit our site.yaml. Now we are using this variable from words file. So we are not using the var files anymore. Uh, instead, we are going to use the host wars. Okay. So we will check now. Uh, first, we will try the shell command. Whether it's working or not. Yes, it's taking because one user taking vagrant and one another one already DevOps. So we are not going to use the variable files. Instead, we are going to use the host words and group words. So first thing, uh, ansible playbook side.yml and uh, minus e we have to give this uh, because we already mentioned inside the extra words notes equal to notes nice running okay node one node two all good okay good now we have two servers installed with a uh, HTPD server and uh, uh firewall all good okay um this is very simple one let's say you want to check like uh, something you want to try with the different variables for different host so what i can do first we will remove the httpd from the target machine so and see we do say command like ansible and m uh, em okay we have to give notes minus m minus a then name equal to HTTP state equal to absent so we are going to remove this okay we have to give uh, become sorry okay we will go and check so we are trying with the shell module so we will try okay you can see there is no matching package listing means it's not installed okay now we have to try with the different variables for different nodes inside the host wars so cat group wars nodes we have these packages but the default it will be using httpd but i want to try something like vim host wars node one i want to use web package web package nginx I don't want to use uh, nginx and web underscore service also nginx. So I am going to use web package nginx and service also nginx for node one. But for node two, I'm going to keep the same uh, and I'm not going to overwrite. okay now here you can see the difference here uh, it's going to install nginx and one httpd let's see what is happen so here we go and check ssh node one sudo yum yum let's install httpd no package on node one Okay, Nginx is there. Sudo system CTL Nginx status Nginx. 
Okay, good. Node 1 Nginx is installed. Now you have to check Node 2. sudo yum list installed nginx thing okay node 3 is using HTTPD. okay sudo yum list installed sorry sudo system ctl status HTTPD. good so we have one machine installed with uh, HTTPD and the other machine installed with nginx we are using the same playbook we didn't change anything inside the playbook and uh, instead of using the wars file we use the host wars so you can use the variable like this uh, if you want to check uh, okay node one okay there's some default file curl node two uh, there is something uh, actually the nginx one we didn't configure the default html just ignore that one at least you know how to handle these uh, group wars and host wars and um, that's it for this uh, video uh, please uh, refer the documentation if you have any questions and also ask in the comment if you want to clarify anything and uh, please watch uh, other videos in the ansible series to get more idea on these variables and thank you for watching uh, please uh, subscribe to this youtube channel to get more videos like this and uh, see you next time with another video. Thank you.